today we did shoulders at the lift factory uh, and the place was packed today so it was pretty hard to get like uh, you know get out, do everything we wanted to do today but what did we start with today we uh, started with the uh, Smith machine uh, shoulder press because um, we had an idea of doing dumbbells today but you know this place is really small I mean I don't know if the video is gonna do justice but the dumbbell section was packed and you know for us to pick up you know 90 100 you know plus pounds and it, it would have just been too much you and stuff and yeah stuff. it would have been too too annoying too crowded it's too crowded so the smith machine was nice open a lot of space around us so we got uh we got our four sets in there did a few sets of uh one plate warm up went to two plates uh two and a half and then three um after that we went to uh Cable side laterals. Yeah, I think three sets of that. Then we did two more sets of dumbbell side laterals, so we made it a five, uh, which was good. Uh, we went around like 20 reps with those. Then uh, we went back to rear delts. We went to uh, rope pulls. He did the stack. He did the stack, so then I had to do the fucking stack. Yeah. I, I, I motivated this guy today. You believe that? So we did the stack for like 20 reps, something like that. And then um, we finished off with uh, a pin loaded press. Try to get as many reps as possible for two sets. I think we went definitely over 30, almost 50 reps. I think I hit, um, but it was a good burn towards the end. Um, like I said, this place, we're not used to this dry heat. I know uh, Frank's from Florida, it's a little hotter down there, but for me... It's different though, it's, it's like... definitely different. It's dry here though, yeah. you know what I mean? So it made it a little hard to breathe. Definitely. So we were just trying to drink as much water as possible, especially coming on off a flight late yesterday. Um, it was definitely good. It was definitely a good workout. And uh, now I think we're gonna go eat. Oh uh, yeah, so this is my second Olympia. Um, it's definitely a great, great experience. I'm really thankful, you know, especially being with Animal. Um, they're sending me here for the second time. And uh, you know, the last night in my hotel, you know, when you're by yourself, you just get all these thoughts and everything. And you know, 25 now, I'm hoping, you know, maybe in the next five, six years. You'll be doing the Olympia. Yeah, and that, that actually came to my mind. Like one day I hope and may be on the stage, you know, and um, it's definitely could be a reality. So it's awesome being here as just a, as a spectator fan and represent one of the best companies around. But uh, you know, you never know what the future holds and I'm just taking in every moment and enjoying it. Yeah, I've done the Olympia once and uh, the, the feeling I got even when I qualified for Olympia was, you know, it's hard to explain, I don't know, man. It was like, you never, I never thought that would happen. And uh, I honestly cried on stage when I, when I qualified. And uh, I remember being here you know, scared out of my mind. You know, I've done a lot of shows, but doing the Olympia is, uh, you know, uh, the Super Bowl of bodybuilding, and you know, you're against the best guys in the world. Um, but I have my Olympia medal, and I mean, it's one of the most precious things to, uh, that I have. Um, I don't know, to, just to be up there with the best in the world, to know that you can stand next to these guys and you deserve to be there, it's an uh, yeah, uh, unbelievable feeling. I, I can't, I, it's hard to describe, but, uh, I hope I know you're gonna get there someday, man. I'm excited for you. But uh, yeah, so hope to see everyone tomorrow and Saturday, and good luck to everyone who's competing.